Good morning. Welcome back to Great White Buddha Channel, specifically the playlist uh, <laughs> Positive Action Plan. I am awake. Trust me, I'm awake. I've been up for a while. I already made a breakfast burrito today. Breakfast burrito. Yum. In Thailand. Pretty cool. So July 5th, remember, once again, one day ahead. No matter how fast you run, I'll always be one day ahead. That's right. All right, July 5th. Friendly cooperation will get you far more than unfriendly agitation in any market. When you treat your competitors with the courtesy and respect you would like, most will respond in kind. And the result is stable, productive, profitable industry. On the other hand, an industry or market that is composed of vicious, vicious, unethical competitors will soon destroy itself. When you are asked how your products and services compare with those of your competitors, speak respectfully and politely about your rivals, but use the question to shift the discussion to your company and your products. Acknowledge others' good points and then move on. If you complain too much about the competition, prospective customers may wonder what they are missing and refuse to buy until they have compared your products and services with those of others. Okay, so once again, I, I think to directly relate this to today, this year, 2020, the greatest of all years, who could argue that. Remember I said you have to survive before you can thrive well, <laughs> this year? I think everybody will be grateful they just survive. It's been so freaking crazy. But um, I'm with the group that believes after the election is over in November, things will settle down. I hope. I, uh, I, I pray. I mean, uh, we just we need things to calm down, and there's a lot of people who don't want things to get back to normal, but normal was pretty fucking good. So... Anyway, uh, to relate that to today, I would say if you look at the cooperation in Jacksonville between wholesalers, um, theoretically they're in competition and it's cutthroat. But when you look at the group of guys, you know, uh, Obi Dorsey and, and uh, RLA, Chris Varnes, um, the Nemix, when they were doing it, now they're traveling and I think they got like a call center thing going now because they're traveling, it's easier to manage. Um, but they were part of that group. Um, um, I'm drawing a blanket. There's a, there's a shitload of Bernadette uh, Harris is a wholesaler. Um, AJ Golden. Um, there's a bunch of them. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't think of everybody. I've, <laughs> I've been... I've been out of the U.S. since March, and, uh, you know, I'm on Thailand time now in a lot of ways. So, but anyway, there's, there's probably, I want to say, 40 or 50 wholesalers who do at least, you know, one deal a month, one deal every two months, whatever, that are active uh, in Jacksonville. And when we did the REIF uh, group and when Kyle did uh, Yellowbird Connect, and when the home investors did the meetup group, uh, the deal maker session, we all got together and we chatted and we shared ideas and we helped each other out. It definitely was not that cutthroat thing that he was talking about. Although, you know, we got a very reason to, oh, you did a deal, that was my deal. But nobody thinks that way. We all help each other out and we all profited and we all benefited. Uh, an old expression since I'm going old school with this book, is a rising tide raises all ships, right? Everybody can profit from a rising tide, from a good market, from cooperation and helping each other. So help each other out, and once again, the money will come. Focus on money and try to edge other people out and box them out like in basketball, you'll be broke. I promise you. And if you don't believe me, try it for a little bit and watch what happens <laughs> you'll learn to be cool and chill and, and, and work with other people all right that's it for today July 5th